Hey folks, we're going to make a carriage lock for the Harbor Freight mini lathe. The idea is to put a piece of metal here and a piece of metal underneath the ways and a screw going through it so when you tighten the screw it locks the carriage in place. First thing to do is to get the carriage out. I'm going to file slight angle notches here, so even though there's going to be screws holding it all together, when it gets pressed down, friction will also provide some support for it. Alright, now we need to make a piece of metal to go here. So I don't work with steel often enough to have a piece lying around, and I could just buy a half inch piece of steel, but what's the fun in that? I have this magnificent piece of cast iron here that I can cut a chunk off and make what I need from it. This is a workout. Forget about running in place or going to the gym. You want to exercise, build something. There we go. Now that we have our piece of metal, we can get back to the main event. Since I'm doing everything the hard way, instead of using a brand new piece of stock brass for the bottom part, I'm going to use a piece of brass that I cast from a previous video. Here we go, who needs a mill? Actually, who am I kidding? I'd love a mill. Santa Claus, if you're watching this, I would love a mill for Christmas. Like a big one, like a bridge port. That would be awesome.
Time to put it all together now. There, the carriage is now not going anywhere I don't want it to. This mod should help add some precision to this precision mini lathe. It doesn't have to be anywhere as complicated as I made it, you can just make it with available metal stock. You don't have to cut your own out of scrap parts. At least I didn't make my own screws, I was tempted to do it, but I held back on that one. So, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.